Hey guys, it's Giles, and this is, I think, the first screencast that I've done apart from my uh, What's in My Dog video. And I'm gonna, what, what I'm gonna be doing in this one is a Photoshop tutorial. And I didn't make this myself, so don't think that I did. It's uh, from tutorial9.net. I got the tutorial from honkayat.com. Honky, I don't really know how to say it, but I mentioned it in my uh, blog post the other day and I mentioned the website and so I'm going to do one of the tutorials. The one I'm doing is a is the Coldplay Apple uh, portrait, something like that. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, first I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm just going to create a new document. I'll just say 900 by 700, it's fine for me. Hit OK. And then we have our document. Let me make it a little bigger. Okay, for some reason that's not. Alright, so there's my document, and the first thing that I'm going to do that it tells me here to do is create a background. So I'm going to get a background color of a dark gray. That looks about good, really dark gray. And a foreground color of a lighter gray, but still pretty dark. And that looks good to me. And I'm going to, on a new layer, do everything on a new layer. I'm going to fill my, fill the whole frame with my background color. And to do that, you, you can press Command, Shift, I believe, or Command, Delete, and it'll fill it with your background layer. To fill it with the foreground layer, just press Option Delete, and obviously that's Alt Delete on a Mac or Control Delete. I mean, what am I saying? On a Mac, it's Command Delete to fill with the background, and Option Delete to fill with the foreground. On a PC, it's Control Delete to fill it with the background, and Alt Delete to fill it with the foreground. Sorry. And then I'm gonna get a very big brush. Increase this brush size. Make it pretty big. It's still not big enough. Very big. Uh, bigger, bigger. Bigger is better. That came out wrong. And that looks about good right there. Let's see. That looks good. Maybe. Maybe a little bit smaller. Oh, that should be good. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then on a new layer, we're going to do some light, some lighting in the background. So I'm just going to go back to my brush, make it smaller, a bit bigger, around 200 or so. And I'm just going to paint some stuff in here. And I have actually a different way of doing it from them. I'll show you how I'm doing it. So I'm just painting some stuff in here, a couple streaks up here, down here, that's good. And you can't really see anything because it's gray, but now let's actually, we're going to lock the transparency, as you can see down there, and uh, to color that with the color, since we locked the transparency, we're going to choose our color, I'll choose a nice bright orange uh, thing around. That looks pretty good, I guess. And we're going to do what I said to do earlier to fill the background. And that's Option Delete on a Mac, Alt Delete on a Windows. And the reason it filled in just that and not the entire frame is because we locked the transparency. So you can only color what's there now. And it's actually very useful for a lot of things. So I'm going to unlock that, create a new layer, paint some stuff over here. Doesn't really, uh, let's see, it doesn't really matter what color it is because we're gonna go back and change that soon. So that looks good. Lock the transparency. Let's find a nice blue, like it has in the picture. That's pretty good. Maybe a little brighter. That looks good. That's good. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. And let's unlock that. One last layer. We're gonna fill some stuff in here. That looks good. And then we're going to find... Oops, forgot to lock the transparency. 
find our little pink color. Something pretty bright. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. And uh, then we're going to unlock that and merge down by either control clicking and press merge down or you can press command E, control E on Windows so that all of these are in one layer so I can move it and it's all in one layer and then we're going to set that layer to overlay by going into the layer styles and setting that to overlay so then it kind of just darkens it up a bit now we are going to on a new layer get our brush make it smaller that should be good let's get it white or light gray I'm just gonna choose white and just paint so let's get even smaller than that and just paint some streaks right here just like this and maybe one up one up here and like that that looks good and then we're gonna give that a radial blur so that's filter blur radial blur and we want it to set on spin, quality, best, and amount. I'm going to choose around 80. Should be good. Give that a minute. And what this is going to do is just going to wrap it into like a big circle. So all those, yeah, see there, you see there. See there, you see there. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go set that layer to overlay as well. So we're going to go back down to our layer styles. I mean, our layer, uh, yeah, I don't know what it's really called. And then there you go. You have a nice little effect. And you can, you don't have to, but I'm just going to turn the opacity down a tiny bit to about 85. Yeah, that looks about good. Now we're going to bring in our portrait of the uh, person. I'm going to use Bono because I just found it. I found a great picture of him and took out the background. And... Where is my Bono picture? Here we go. So I'm just going to drag that into Photoshop. Whoa, what's going on? And let's open that up. Actually, he came without shoulders, so I had to like kind of do, do this, and it got cut off. Basically, when I got the picture, it was like this, so I had to make the rest of it myself. It was pretty tedious, not going to lie. Okay, so then I'm just going to drag that into my picture. And I believe it's the correct size. Yep. So there's that. And it's already desaturated, but to do that, you just go image adjustments, desaturate. And then I'm going to turn the brightness down a little bit. Hue saturation, lightness. Let's turn that down. That looks good right there. 